You sit, I'll stay. I should say, it's, we have a very special guest doing the Hall of Fame Q&A with us. Um, you probably recognize him from ESPN, Joey Brackets himself, uh, Joe Lenardi. Thank you for joining us. I, I'm old enough to remember the Sweet 16 run, and I think every Gale around remembers it, but probably not everyone as well as you. You probably remember it the best. Um, what I remember is that it was the year after Patty Mills went to the draft. People kind of had low expectations for St. Mary's, and you came out and said, don't sleep on St. Mary's, we're still here, and you let that fuel you. Um, you were an incredible leader on the court, and it was an insane season. Can you just tell us what you remember most about it, and like your favorite memory from that year and that run? Yeah, for sure. Uh, <clears throat> like you said, Patty left. So as you can see, the years before, Patty did all the interviews, which is why I was saying St. Mary's was like America. <laughs> <laughs> I know Randy was biting his, biting his nails nervous, but uh, I think probably my favorite memory from that year, obviously beating Villanova was, was awesome, but I, on the paper it even says defensive player of the year. Felt like I should have been player of the year that year. I led the league in scoring, rebounding, and block shots, but I didn't go to Gonzaga, so I didn't get that vote. So going into the tournament, I told all the guys on the team, like, we have to beat Gonzaga in the final. It's a must happen. And Vegas, everybody had Gonzaga winning it. And my senior year, we went in there and popped them by like 20. And it was my favorite memory by far. I never heard the Zags that quiet, so. <laughs> I didn't know anything about St. Mary's at that time, but I was at that game. Didn't know any of you people. But I'm a Philly guy, and I went to St. Joe's, and we hate Villanova the way you hate Gonzaga. So that was a really good day for me, too. And I don't get why you were so unpopular in so many places. Uh, most wanted man in Spokane, you're just a big teddy bear. What was it like carrying this persona around? Uh, it was, a, you know, it was just night and day, because I'm from Danville, so playing here was like, you know, playing at home and a lot of support. And then up there, the minute we landed, like they're calling the hotel room, yelling at you. The fans are booing you in the airport. So it was, it was nice to be the villain. And then once it kind of happened, I just kind of embraced it. At that time, our program wasn't where it is today. Joe never, let's start slow. Joe never put us in the bracket. <laughs> never. <laughs> now he does, and we, like he said, he met us then. But uh, I felt like we had to stand up for ourselves, and Gonzaga just won the league every year back then. So Randy gave us a pep talk about how we got to stand up for ourselves and not back down, and I think I took it a little too far, but I definitely, I definitely uh, have a, a hated reputation up there. Congratulations, Omar. <laughs>